become a Delta Force member, you must already be an established pro. Before sending your resume in, you should test yourself in the 75th Ranger Regiment or undergo years of training in one of the Green Beret divisions. Amid an explosion, screams, and heavy fire, you cannot feel the injury. Adrenaline bubbling in your veins blocks pain. It only takes one wrong turn or one ridiculous accident to kill you. They will lay down their heads with you, your team members, and those who need to be saved. Unlike computer games, Delta Force soldiers are trained to accomplish impossible tasks with no second chances. This video describes the world's most dangerous special forces. Fighters must be capable of handling all forms of transportation, such as trains and planes. They need to be proficient with both small arms and artillery systems. The candidates continue to undergo grueling training, reaching the highest level of endurance as they undergo training and practice. It takes many months for a fighter to get a license to kill or what can be described as the right to defend oneself against terrorists, criminals, or crazy maniacs who have taken hostages at one's discretion. According to Delta Force, candidates must be strong, stamina, and intelligent like world chess champions. Human physiology prevents us from thinking clearly when our muscles burn with lactic acid and our bones and joints ache from long hours of stress. Nine out of ten people cannot think clearly when these conditions persist. Taiwan's Marines undergo the same rigorous training. To become part of the elite, reconnaissance divers must crawl over sharp rocks and coral debris with their hands tied behind their backs, 160 feet above. A test like this makes you feel like you are in paradise after passing it. The Philippine military fighters train while drunk. They're pumped with alcohol. In addition to drinking, recruits must swim 20 miles on a boat, hit all targets when landing, and then march 6 miles. Most people want to pull out their hearts at the finish line because their ears hurt from the loud pulse. Are you ready for training like this? And can you live in secrecy as a Snow Wolf Commando unit? A top secret Chinese Special Forces unit was trained for the Beijing Olympics. Snow Wolf fighters spent five years practicing counter-terrorist operations and neutralizing explosive devices and snipers, training in complete secrecy from their friends and relatives. A candidate must already have tremendous strength and endurance. Everyone must do 200 push-ups, 200 sit-ups, 100 squats, and 200 barbell lifts. Following that, the candidate runs a cross-country course while carrying 80 pounds. After finishing, he is recruited as one of his squad of recruits. Each recruit is expected to endure months of hard training. The explosion occurs at precisely the right moment, not too soon. One of his unique skills is his ability to disguise himself as a woman to gain others' trust. One must have incredible strength without much muscle mass to defeat a fighter. A fighter must display colossal endurance, yet remain graceful like a fragile woman at the same time. It's incredible. How would you feel if the lady beside you was a Chinese commando? Unlike the Chinese snow wolf fighters who enlist at a conscious age, the secret North Korean division recruits children when they are very young. 124th Squad North Korean fighters begin their training program at the age of 12. Training includes physical and psychological training. Special Operations Forces are a separate military branch in North Korea. Only one out of a thousand is selected. Aside from headbutting with sticks, hammer blows to limbs, and other incredible things, training includes these guys' hearts being made of stone, too. For their leader, North Korean Special Forces can kill their mother. Personal loyalty or unconditional love for the leader is a crucial preparation component. Kim Jong-un seems shocked by such devotion. The main task of Squad 124 is to penetrate enemy lines and destroy roads, tunnels, bridges, airfields, communication centers, warehouses, and storage facilities, destroy communications and eliminate military personnel and technical personnel at strategic enemy facilities. Guerrilla warfare in a nutshell. North Korean Squad 124 fighters have an essential characteristic. When their task cannot be completed or withdrawal is impossible, they simply self-destruct. A sabotage in neighboring South Korea resulted in the capture of only one North Korean, Kim Shinjo. A few people broke through the ring and returned to North Korean territory, 
but several bullets were lodged in their bodies, which made them hardly survive. 28 fighters either died or killed themselves, being surrounded. They held out for five days, then attacked with their bare hands. The South Koreans had to shoot them. It's a kill or die for Squad 124. Would you like to be part of such a brutal meat grinder? If not, there's a more competitive squad out there, SBS. Its motto is by strength and guile. By the way, the creator of Delta is SBS. Due to Special Forces Officer Charles Beckwith's service in the SBS, many traditions of the American Special Forces emerged. One of the most closed and elite Special Forces in the UK is the Royal Navy's Special Boat Service. The bodies of the destroyed villains and the faces of the released hostages are revealed to the public after another operation when the clouds of smoke, dust, and asphyxiating gas disperse. The heroes, however, remain anonymous. British Special Forces have been involved in operations against ISIS and Al-Qaeda and rescue operations in Libya and Sierra Leone. The SBS group assassinated Taliban leader Mullah Dalula on May 12, 2007. As Abdul Matin and Karim Aga rode motorcycles through the desert with their bodyguards on February 18, 2008, SBS units ambushed and killed them near the city of Grishk Khamed province, Afghanistan. These guys are tough. The primary function of SBS is releasing captured ships. On December 21, 2018, SBS fighters stormed the Grand Tima container ship. On October 25, 2020, SBS freed the Nave Andromeda oil tanker. Both cases involved the hostage ship of the crews, but British fighters resolved the emergency. A candidate must pass a four-week endurance test to become an SBS fighter. Candidates are often hungry during those days. When glucose is lacking, the human body becomes incapable of acting, and the will and control are weakened. A 25-mile forced march concludes the test. The process takes, at most, 20 hours. 90% of recruits leave the race exhausted. The Russian FSB has two equally incredible special forces, Alpha and Vimpel. The two compete, but they have a joint mission. If you become part of us, be proud, be relieved if you didn't. A significant date in special forces history was on December 27, 1979. That's when the Amin Palace in Afghanistan was stormed. It's when the Baikal 79 operation to overthrow Afghan President Amin started. Alpha and Vimpel have been on all legal and illegal missions ever since. Training one fighter can take up to five years. The signature obstacle course for training Russian special forces is usually equipped with live ammunition. They are unafraid of death and kill without hesitation, and it seems they compete for blood. During the Ukraine invasion, Alpha and Vimpel units suffered heavy losses. Poor planning is the reason. In the past, Alpha and Vimpel commanders planned and acted independently. However, they had to obey Russian commanders and collaborate with other Ukraine units. As a result, many experienced fighters died or were injured. The exact number of casualties is unknown. In addition to the equally brutal and professional GIGN Special Forces from France, Israeli Special Forces and the Navy SEALs, Polish Grom, British SAS, and Pakistani Special Forces Group are to be mentioned. Let us know if you like this video and we'll continue with another one.